choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. I believe that Daniel Dubois is a great fighter. It's this may be his time, but um, the guy, the guy that's going to be staring at him, he's no joke. He's no joke. So I want to see it. What does Daniel Dubois have to do differently with Alexander Usyk that Anthony Joshua and the, and the previous fighters he fought didn't? He needs to be able to hurt him. Put it on him straight away? He needs to put it on him straight away. Listen, one thing that Daniel Dubois does and does very well, he hits to the body and he hits really well. For me, uh, he's going to show a few things in this fight. And listen, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised what can happen with Triple D, baby. I'm telling you now. Mate, do you, Alexander Usyk is going to dance rings around him. He's not going to be able to hit him, and I believe he gets him out there. Every chance, every chance. It's a, it's boxing. It's a beautiful business, beautiful game. That's why we tune in. Um, I really respect Usyk. I really, I really do. Like, I know how hard that guy works. His success hasn't come by luck. It's come by hard work. But. It will be good to see the boy win as well for his old man. It's, I think it seems like a dream for them. Do you know what I mean? And everything that he's gone through, it will be like like a Frank Bruno moment, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it is. Uh, I give him a chance. I do. I, and fire new city. That he gets hit. He gets hit. He gets hit. He gets hit. So yeah, if he gets hit wrong, he can. He could go. This is heavyweight boxing. Remember, this ain't cruiser. This ain't light, heavy. This is heavyweight boxing. You're dealing with serious, serious hitters, heavy hitters. And um, that's why I give him a puncher's chance, for sure. I don't think he's doubting himself. Oh, he's doing well. How do you see that playing out in Poland? I'll be ringside. I don't think you'll be ringside, so uh, we'll see. But you know what's going to happen? Daniel Dubois is going to absolutely screw this up for all of them. He's going to knock him the fuck out, I'm telling you. All right, I'll see you in Poland for that, Frank. You certainly will be, mate. Thank you for your time. God bless. Forget the crowd. Fuck them. First of all, Daniel, go and smash it, mate. Go and give it your all. Leave everything in that ring. He can punch like a fucking... like a horse can kick. He can whack. Is he the hardest puncher you sparred? Him or David Price, yeah. Um, yeah, man, go, go, listen, go and leave it all in the ring. You've been fighting for a long time. Remember, this, this guy, I don't think he's going to hurt you with one punch. So, you know, obviously just just get in there and do your thing. Listen to Don Charles and, you know, but I'm rooting for him. And I think everyone in Britain should be, you know, this, this country's a bit mad when it comes to supporting their own. Do you know that? I feel like they're back, back in Usyk. Well, there's a difference listen, between I, I, picking someone and, and backing Listen, I, I, I'm probably, I'm picking Usyk. I'm a fan of Usyk. But I'd, lo I'd love to see Daniel the ball win. Throw the spanner in the works. He's, he's a fellow Brit, you know, he's on the, on the Team GB with me back in the day. Um, he's a good guy. Quiet guy, you know, nice guy. Um, just, yeah, I hope he wins, man. Fingers crossed for him. Everyone is writing him off, but I certainly ain't. Like, he, he, um, he's a massive puncher. And all, all of this heavyweight, all of this, in this heavyweight division, it just takes one punch. So, I believe Daniel can knock him out. I'm not saying he will, but I believe he can. Mm. How hard does he punch? Yeah, he is, he is hard still. Um, he's definitely up there. And you know what? He's, un he's under, um, underratedly quick as well. Like, he, like, people obviously see the punching power and they're like, overwhelmed. But he's actually quite quick for a heavyweight as well. Obviously, if you compare him to Joe Joyce and, and all them, like... like but I, I, I just hope Tyson Fury has this fight, but then Usyk, if he gets through Dubois, which I think he will, that fight gets made, hopefully. No, he's got a chance. Look, there's, there'll be, um, there's been bigger upsets in boxing. Um, I think he's been really, he's been written off. And I can understand why people have written him off, but it's a little bit unfair. He definitely has a chance. The thing is, while, he, while he's in the fight, he has a chance if he's on his feet because he's explosive, he's powerful, he's athletic. And it only takes one 
one shot for Dubois to knock Usyk out. Usyk's not going to knock Dubois out with one shot. He's going to have to pepper the head of him. and He could stop him, but he'll have to hit him a lot to do it. Um, so Dubois has a chance. He could be 11 rounds behind and in the 12th and still win the fight. Uh, and that's what heavyweight boxing's like. So, you know, I hope he can do it because it would be good for Britain and, and the UK boxing scene. And, you know, he's a massive underdog. So it'd be, it'd be a nice story as well. I always love to support the underdog. Daniel's got a, he's got a land tank on him. So, I mean, tight. Try and try and press him down. Um, be cautious. Don't even worry about trying to gas out. Try and whack him downstairs. Rather than trying to peace sign to the head, try and whack him downstairs. If you do land sign on him, then go for it. If 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 he's if he looks like you momentarily stunned, then 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 go for it. Because you might not get that opportunity again. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a highly skilled um, fighter, Usyk. He's he's the most skillful heavyweight there is in the in the heavyweight division that I've seen. Um, most likely because. He's come. He's not a huge heavyweight, so he has. You know, he can. He can still move his frame about. He come from the Ukrainian amateur boxing scene, where they're well scored, working with Lomachenko, who must be a phenomenal coach. So, um, yeah, I think I think he's the best heavyweight in the world right now, and I think Dubois got 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 it all to do. But always going to have that puncher's chance. He's going to have a lot of natural size on his side. Um, I make Usyk a massive favourite. Daniel, Daniel is a lot is a lot better fighter than people give him credit for. He's a boxer. He's got a fantastic jab. He's a big guy. He's the naturally bigger guy. Um, Alexander Usyk's done incredible things as a boxer, particularly at cruiserweight. You know, two great performances against Anthony Joshua. I don't think that was necessarily Anthony Joshua at his best though on either night. And I think look, it's 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 a, it's going to be a tough night. Daniel is rightfully the underdog. He should be with you know kind of the distinction in terms of where they've gone into and, and particularly after a couple of the recent um, performances of both fighters it's only right that that's the case but having said that Daniel is one of the best finishers in boxing ask and I think Moses Atalma was just he did an article today talking about it an interview saying hardest spar that he had out of him Joe Joyce and Anthony Joshua was with Daniel Dubois go and ask any heavyweight who you want to get hit by I think number one, the, 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 the least like the least one that they would want to get hit by is Deontay Wilder, and I think probably second to that would be Daniel Dubois. So for us, I don't, I don't see it as just being a oh he's got a puncher's chance. He's young. He's got he's he has got speed. He's got a fantastic jab, and he's got he's got he's a got big punch in both hands. He's a powerful puncher. Um, I just feel that it's his moment. Is his temperament going to be right for that fight? That's all it's going to be about. And I think he has got the temperament to win it. I think he's got the, the winning mentality to win this fight. Did you see Moses Atalma's comments about sparring Daniel Dubois recently in Spain? No, I didn't. What did he say? Um, he didn't. I can't remember who he did the interview with, but it was one of the papers and he said, you know, he sparred everyone in terms of Anthony Joshua, Joe Joyce. Um, he sparred the lot, uh, Fraser Clark, and he said the hardest spy he's ever had was, was Daniel Dubois. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't see that, and I never heard that. Well, that that's that's uh, it's encouraging. That's, inter that's interesting. Well, it's not. I don't need to be encouraged <laughs> because I wouldn't allow him to make the fight. We made, we make what we did. We moved our man through the rankings to get him into that position to become the WBA regular champion. That's what we worked hard on to do to make this fight happen. That's what we done. We could have stepped aside, but we didn't. We want the fight, and he wants the fight. And I believe he can win it. And I really do believe he can win it. And I've got my, um, listen, I've been wrong in the past, but I've been right a lot of times as well. And the, the one thing's for sure, on the 26th, we're going to know. When you look at TNT, if you're not going to Poland, you're going to see, is Warren right or wrong? Moses went out and sparred him, gave me a bit of a report back, and he said he's looking absolutely terrific, looking really sharp, the jabs never look better. And he sparred him over a number of years, and he said this is the best he's ever seen him. Um, I've been, you know, I spoke to John Charles when Moses was out there, and obviously asked, "How's Daniel getting on?" And um, you know, Charles is absolutely adamant as well. This is the time for Daniel to step up and, and, and become an elite world-level fighter. Um, listen, Usyk's, Usyk's a terrific, terrific fighter, legend of the sport, in my opinion. You know, he's an undisputed cruiser, and 
he's, you know, he's, he holds multiple world titles at heavy. Um, he's performed at the highest level for, for many, many years. Um, but I just got a funny feeling that Mr. Dubois can go over there and, and really, really cause an upset. He's got to be on his. He's got to be at 110 percent, and perhaps, perhaps catch Usyk on a slightly off night. Mm. But I think Daniel can go and do it as long as he's switched on. Doesn't have a crap start like he did against Lorena. Um, smashes that jab out. Smashes that jab out and uses it as a, you know as a ramrod uh, to, to box his way in and hopefully bust that uh, Usyk up. Yeah, of course, punch his chance. Yeah, I give him a punch his chance. I mean. It is what it is, isn't it? You know, it's boxing, heavyweight boxing like that. But then, like I said earlier to someone, I said, when people look at the fight, do we believe Daniel Dubois beats Anthony Joshua? I don't believe he beats Anthony Joshua. I think Anthony Joshua is a, a more sharper, more athletic, better mover. Daniel's a bit robust. And he's strong. He's, got, he's meant to have great power. But I think the experience of Joshua, Joshua would be a little bit more experienced for him. But look... I, I, you know, all the best to him, man. I hope he goes out there and puts on a great performance and let's see what happens to him, you know what I mean? But I think Yusek goes out there, does his thing. Southpaws are always tricky and hard to beat. Let's see, man. I wish him all the best. These guys, they can say what they want. And, you know, most of them, you know, whatever. I don't want to even go into that. You know, no you know, negativity or any of that shit. I'm just ready for a fight. I'm ready to win. And I'm you know, coming to give my all. Does it make it a bit more special, though? You come in as an underdog, you know, you guys are coming from Britain, uh, the away corner. Yeah. It probably adds a little bit to it. It does. It's, it's a great story, isn't it? It's um, like a rocky story, the underdog. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, and if Usyk gets hit on August 26th, he stays hit and, and stays down? Yeah, well, he'll keep getting hit, you know, not just one. I don't, I don't believe it's just one shot for a guy like Usyk. It's many, and... Um, I'm ready to deliver that, yeah. I treat my every opponent exactly the same way, extremely serious. Daniel is a young kid. He knows how to beat, how to punch. He knows how to punch hard. And uh, I treat every opponent, I, I, I get myself ready for every opponent for 117%. Okay. I just want you to react to this, please, Alexandra. Це розмови дяді. These are the talks of uncle. Not just believing it's not enough. We are doing something, actively doing something to make sure to aid our, our man Daniel to be able to, to pull it off. He, he will. He will pull it off. Use the marks right here. Who's going to the middle? Let's go. Let's go. I'm the new. 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 And the dude, the dude. after me, and the new. And the dude. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. And the dude. Repeat after me. 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 Right, the bounce is guilty. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 